Howdy, everybody. Another trip. Looking for some artifacts. Looking for something cool. Which, cool stuff's everywhere. Um, no, 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 no. Not that well. Whew, that scared me. I thought for a second I had something going on there. It is. That's just a pretty flake. Look at that. I'm going to do a video where I pick up all these flakes and wash them off. Isn't that thing pretty? guess y'all can see that. I mean, every video I saw the same thing. There's a flake. There's a flake. There's a flake. There's one. That's the cool thing about being in a good spot. There's actually a, a kind of a spall. Flake. Flake. And of course, some of the small arrowheads also look like flakes. You kind of got to turn them over. I mean, they're just everywhere. So that's kind of keeps the interest up. So that's what we're going to do. Spend about an hour in this field today. Trying to find something. Trying to make something happen. As always, I'm D.W. Verse, Hick Billy Outdoors. It's a pretty nice morning. Ain't quite got hot yet. And I got at least an hour or so to, to waste. Try to find something for y'all. We'll be back in just a minute. I always get a kick out of things like this. Here's a, a spent core. You can see where flakes were drove off of it. Worked around, they got to where there wasn't nothing else. They couldn't make a two out of it. But you see that patina? That patina shows that it was in the creek at one time. So thousands of years ago, for whatever reason, they picked this rock up. You can see some clear chert in there. They brought this thing up here to work. I think that's cool. I'm pretty sure that's a broken ads. It's dirty, it's not very well made. Bust. I'm pretty sure it's what it is. I don't know what I cleaned up. It may just be a, a core. I'm putting my pocket in. I'm pretty sure the way it's shaped, but that's an ads. I'm not trying to romanticize this. You just you pull stuff out of the ground. And when it's muddy like this, it's not as easy to tell. That's just a big old core right there, I think. Yeah, look at that. pretty rock and we're walking I think I'm gonna have to f accept the fact that some of these places that I'm hunting I've hunted them pretty hard for several years upwards of 20 years or so and I'm finding less stuff because I've found so many things in them before every time the fields work there's a chance of new stuff coming up but there's less of it because these farmers are only going so deep if they're going in at all. This one's been disc a little bit, five or six inches. But the good stuff is deeper than this, and it's just it's just going to be harder and harder to find numbers. I mean, the first time I ever hunted this field, it was a it was nuts. Just pick stuff up for an hour. Um, it's it's okay. It's just part of the evolution of this. Um, I'm blessed to have found the things I've found in here. But I, mean, I found some cool stuff this year, though, so I'm going to keep looking at it. Um, now, the debitage is just scary everywhere. I'm going to find something before I'm done here. I'm, I'm going to walk a fair ways up through here. Look at that. There's a solid black piece right there. That's rare around here. not giving up I'm just stating the obvious that unless the field ever gets worked deeper or I can dig here or whatever I have definitely taken the cream off the top and you've always got this part which is fun kind of I'm fairly certain I found something right there in that pretty pink probably cooked Burlington shirt 
but I about guarantee it's broken. It just, from here, it looks like a piece. So let's find out. Get your old fat butt down here closer. Yeah, look at that. And that's all it is, a broke piece. This ain't nothing, but I picked it up because, I mean, it's definitely a shaped rock. I thought maybe at first I had a busted axe that broke it to groove. I think maybe it's just a hammer stone now with the kind of material it's up, but look at that. Ground down, shaped, isn't that cool? I can't believe that's actually anything sticking up all pretty like that. I don't hardly believe it. Sure is flat though. Oh, look at that, sure enough. I'll be dead gum sticking up, broken, oh. Etley, look how thin that puppy is. Look at that. Doggone crystal, maybe gas grenade quartz. Oh my gosh, would you look at that? Poking up, wait, waiting for me to come along. Look how thin that baby is. Well, shoot. Of course it's broken. It wouldn't have, that thing was too thin to ever survive much. Oh my gosh. Oh well. Isn't that cool? I've went, oh golly, 30 minutes and a, a quarter mile without finding anything but some debitage. So that thing's just, oh man, that's just kind of classic Etley. Oh well, burn a sharp stick again. That's, that's kind of cool right there. One of the prettier pieces I've ever found. If that had been whole, that would have been a, a once in a week time thing. Whatever. That was a good one. I'm tickled with that. No way. That's just a flake, right? Come on. I just found that Etley 15 foot behind me. Oh my gosh, would you look at that. How's that for a little one? So I haven't been filming as much because I feel like people get tired of seeing all my junk pieces and chips. But then again, I have a lot of comments that like seeing this because this is the way it really goes. Point hunting is all about the hunting. It's not about the finding. you got to cover the territory. And I say that over and over and over. If you're a lazy person... Nothing against you, but if you can't get motivated, you don't deserve to find these points. Every few years, I get lucky and hit a spot that's loaded or, you know, not as hard a hunting. And there's still debitage everywhere I go, not as much as there is in the lower part of this field. But it's amazing how many times over the years... The middle of this field always, boy, there's a pretty core there. The middle of this field always kind of sucks for finding stuff. But look at that core. Beat all to death. Look at that. It's never produced a lot of stuff in the middle of this eight or nine acre field. But then you get up here on this high side and all of a sudden you find stuff again like I just now found too. Almost always that same little spot, which, what's that tell you? Um, I have never found anything out through here, ever. But there's some debitage, so. I went 75 yards through there a while ago without even finding a chip or a flake or anything. But there's a lot of, there's a broken, t I'll be dead gum. How's that for live, whatever, broken tip? Look at that. Got that cross section so you can tell. Pretty, pretty stuff. Look at that. Sedalia probably. Sure enough, that happened. Yeah, that's cool. Goes in a collection. I don't ever put anything back. I'll throw cores back and things. Flakes, yeah. Uh, that's a project for another day. We're going to pick up a bunch of flakes someday. I mean, look at them. Pretty sharp little shard. But if it has been a, a point or a tool at one time or another, Broken, whatever, I'm going to keep it because it deserves to be kept. So, again, just me rambling. Um, 
still finding stuff. I mean, there's three finds in 10 minutes. Slab of rock, that's interesting. I have nowhere near run out just in this little field of things to look at. But we got uh, some pretty decent rain coming in tonight and tomorrow. The landowner tells me he's not going to try to get this plant until after all that dries out. So this dirt will get beat down one more time. Boy, look at that thin thing. Oh my God, that's, a, that's a, that is one pretty piece right there. It won't be, oh, it's a, actually a bigger piece. Let's have a look at that. Dirty, but that's a... Look at that pretty. Can y'all... Is that not a pretty piece of rock? Oh my gosh. My wife was here that'd go in the bucket. And actually, it's my next video. I'm bringing my wife along. She's not much in arrowhead hunting. She gets disgruntled. But I'm having her picking up all these pretty pieces and flakes and some cores and some things like that. So... By the time this video comes out, because I got a couple ahead of it, luckily I've had some time to do some hunting. Getting hot out. Whew. By the time this thing comes out, I'll be at 900 subscribers. Um, that's just awesome. I want to thank everybody. I really appreciate it. When I first started doing these videos uh, 11 months ago, I didn't know you can make money doing it. I'm never going to make any money, I'm sure. Um, it'd be nice to pay for some gas, I guess. I'm never going to have 40 or 50,000 or 100,000 or a million subscribers. I get that. But I want to thank you guys a bunch. I really do appreciate it. I mean, I'm low tech, no tech. Doing fishing stuff, some hunting stuff. But a lot of this artifact hunting is what turns people on. I, I do it different than some others. I know. It's okay. I don't find the stuff some of the hot rods find. That's okay, too. There's room for everybody out here. I've really enjoyed some of the other videos I watch. I've got some great support from the YouTube community and other hunters. Appreciate that as well. I just want to take a second and say thank y'all. Um, a thousands of mark you're supposed to be going towards. We're getting pretty close to it. I'm trying to think of some new things, maybe more interesting. I got a couple ideas while we go. Something I may even try to work on even today. Because not everybody's going to just keep watching me pick up flakes. Made off of rocks 5,000 years ago. Oh, this one's interesting. I'm sure it's a broke. It is a broke. I think it's a point. If not, it's a really nice flake. I think that's a point. Can't already move. I got rocks in my pocket. Yeah, look at that. Heat treated. Oh, busted. Yeah, poor thing. Get that mud out of that notch, just a second. I'm working on it. Got on notch. Wow, he, I don't know, I don't get, it's like it's, it's fluted from the front. I don't get that at all. Look at that. Cooked, beautiful pink. Um, it never had a, yeah it did. Real, well maybe, I can't tell. If it did, it's real fine ear on that side. Busted, of course. <laughs> Can't get that mud out of that. That flake is that flake. That notch is so finely made. I'm working on it. Hold on. <laughs> Edit. <laughs> there. Okay. I'm trying to show how nice that. Look at that notch. Yeah, the other side's busted the base and the notch. That was a really, really, really cool point. I don't understand that big flake. It's like a flute. Look at the fine edges on that thing. There's an ads. It's an ugly one, but it is an ads. Finished all the way around again. As much as ads, ads as ads as are, ads as are around here. Cool. Uh, this won't mean much to very many people, but I just pulled this out of the ground. And guys, girls, this was a massive blade at one time. I mean massive. All I have is one side of that one one inch long place. That thing would have filled my hand up and then some. And it was crazy thin. There's, there's one side, there's the other, and it's still expanding. That thing was six, seven inches long, I'll bet. And it was... Too finely made to be a Sedalia. 
gorgeous. I know y'all can't see that good enough. Oh my gosh, where's, I'd like to find some more pieces of that, it never will. Broken a Dina or something like it. Okay, um, 50 years of doing this, 45 years fairly serious, somebody tell me what this is. Of course it's dirty, but it's a shaped ball. It's hit on all sides, kind of napped. Not really ground on. Heavy. I don't know what it is. I get it cleaned up. That's something. What is it? It's not a game ball. Well, is it? That thing is stout. There you go. A mystery. Even for me, I don't have a clue. I got my doubts on this when the shape's not right, but it's got a notch in it. Yep. Oh, I, oh my gosh, I see. Oh my gosh, there's the base was that way. What the heck was that one? There's one side right there. There's the other side. What the heck was that thing? Another freaking crazy monster. Look at the flaking on that thing. Holy cow, folks. That's two that were gargantuan at one time. The point, that notch don't even make any sense for that size, but it's what it is. I said, there's one edge, there's the other edge, inch and three quarter away, inch and three quarter wide. And the theme continues, it goes on and on. Another broken point. Look at that pretty thing now. Again, very finely made, pretty color. Ancient broke, of course. Well, so there's what y'all get after, I imagine, close to three hours of hunting. A little longer than usual. I kind of got carried away, and I still ain't got it all hunted. Boy, I wish that. Man, that was pretty. Sucker there. Wow. Just pretty stuff. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call that a success. That, to me, that's a successful hunt. Uh, I spent probably three hours, a little bit over. I checked my phone. I don't have a phone. Um, a little bit longer, I usually hunt. Um, I kept finding a little bit here and there. Uh, I've went 10 hours. I went 10 days without finding much. So I'm going to call it a success. For y'all that are still watching this crazy as I am, you get it. Um, I did come up with an idea where I'll go for a video. I'm going to be back later. I'm going to bring my wife back this evening maybe. And got another front coming through, more rain. This thing can use one more pound of the rain. He's not going to plant it yet, so I've got a couple more trips here. And I just haven't hunted the whole field, so there you are. I'm Dale Verts. I'm a hickbilly. Thanks for watching, y'all. My gosh, it went and got hot. I got some iced tea or a cold glass of water waiting for me somewhere, I hope. God bless y'all. We'll talk at you next time.